can you actually truly recession proof your business and while doing that pull out a couple hundred thousand dollars out of one deal hey guys welcome to another deal structure sunday it's chris prefontaine i'm joined by mike mackerties from california i don't know why i always have to think about that mike welcome to another deal structure buddy thanks for having me chris glad to be here I, we just were doing another deal structure and I said, California, I don't know why I had a brain fart, but here we are. Um, yep. So, and I know it's morning for you. So thanks for being on. Um, nope. Let's you're, you're, you're good at this. And, and so for the viewers to know, if they didn't see the other one, you, Mike is a certified coach as well. So he knows how yep. these run. Let's go with just the basics, Mike source, any nuances with that source and how long that took and then numbers. This was an expired listing. Um, I think I reached out to them and I got a call back within a, a couple of days from my first voicemail to them. Um, and from there, we just kind of built off of uh, a few phone conversations together. They're an older couple, retired couple uh, that had to move, let's say, closer to town. Uh, <clears throat> to it was an extreme to motivation then. It was just a change. No, it was a vacant property, right? It was just, it was sitting there. Uh, they've already moved. So um, that's pretty much the motivation, just the property sitting there. Uh, it's on 10 acres. So wow. it, it does have some upkeep that they have to pay monthly, right? To keep um, from the fires and stuff like that, to keep up the, the, the brush and the trees and all that stuff. So um, they're just tired of it, right? It's just yeah. something that, so it's free and clear property. And we'll get into that. I guess right now, right? Um, yeah, let me just comment though, because I don't know if I remember, and it's always cool when I don't know all the details on these, so it's a real conversation. I mean, I, I didn't, is 10 acres a lot? It's got to be anywhere in Cal, right? No? Yeah, yeah, 10 acres is a lot anywhere. Uh, and this is like in the Monterey County uh, area. So um, it's quite a trek for me. It's about almost three hours away. So uh, good point to, for the viewers is that, you know, <clears throat> If the deal's good enough, right, and this one definitely is good enough, it's worth the drive, right? I have a six-hour round trip to go just to the house there uh, if I had to go. Um, How and many so times I, did you go so far, Mike? Just once. Yeah. Okay. So, and are you going to have – I'm curious. Are you going to have a runner put up a bunch of signs and lock blocks? Or how are you handling that before you jump into your numbers? On this one particularly, I won't just because um, – uh, in that area, specific area, I don't have anybody that I could use as a runner, yeah. uh, but I can, I can find one. I could find okay. one. Um, it's not hard to do. Um, so I'll figure that out. It's going to be pretty easy. I mean, I just took it, on, got it, and put it on the market. So uh, it is in the real rule, not rule, it's on 10 acres, right? So it's in the country. So I don't think signs would be too, too effective, right? Because oh. you have to go on these really small roads to see the signs. So I would have to put them pretty far out from the property. Probably won't be too effective but gotcha. I will put them out. Good point. Um, okay. Um, <clears throat> so anyways, yeah, it's a free and clear property. Um, uh, 10 acres, uh, average house, nothing extravagant, you know, uh, but the area that it's in, it's a, the properties are high, <clears throat> excuse me, they're, they're expensive. So um, FHA limits in that area, just to give you an idea, are, uh, I think 650,000. So oh, wow. that's- So you can get, okay, so you can get some easy, not, not easy, but you can get some people cashed out of this house, no problem. Yeah, we're gonna get definitely somebody cashed out in this house, yeah. Let's, so, let's do the math then. Would you buy it for, would yep. you sell it for, monthly, all that, go through the three paydays. Yep, so we bought it for 617, um, where it's comping a little bit more than 660. I would say closer to 665. We're putting on the market for six fifty nine. Um, okay. So the difference there is a forty two nine as a back end. Um, so let's go back to this is an owner financing deal, right? So we, I structured my own payment on this one with him. Uh, they didn't really have an idea of how much to charge, uh, so I just said, okay, uh, I'll make my own terms, and I just threw it out there, and it stuck. So what was it? Uh, I forget. It's a $1,500 principal pay down per, uh, per month. That's right. That's awesome. Um, then it, it's also uh, the taxes are added on top of it. And then also the maintenance guy who takes care of the property is also included in the payment. I want it all to be in one, right? So he's taking care of all that. Uh, it's it's 2300 total, 1500 principal pay down. Okay, so, so the 2300 2300 per month. 
And do you pass, uh, I know you pass taxes onto the buyer, but do you yep. pass that maintenance on, I would think? I am. So yeah. we're going to pass it on. So there's going to be more profit in this. So I know my, my total profit was, like you said, uh, around the 160 mark, but uh, it definitely could be more. Um, if I just tweak the numbers a little bit here and there, the language here and there with the buyer uh, to pick up some of these costs, it's definitely going to go all in my pocket. Yeah. So what's the first, well, we don't know the first payday you're on the market, but I can, for the viewer's sake, we don't, it's rare in, in the Wicked Smart community to have someone just like we just talked to Cami and Greg, your students, it's real rare for someone not to over the course of the loan, get them up to 10% now. I mean, just, just right. not, this is what we do now. Yeah. So that, that's going to be my plan is to uh, get a decent down, right. To, to get in. Um, I don't know. I'm guessing probably, at least 25 to 30 grand down at least. Uh, well, to get in the door, but I'm saying over to get the, in the door. Yeah. Just to get the keys. And then from there, build off of it. Um, I mean, that's going to be the bare, bare minimum if I were at, like to get a buyer at last minute. Uh, but uh, of course I'm going to try to shoot to get more in the beginning. Um, but 10% down is what we're going to get uh, over time. So let's round so, down to 60. Yep. Let's just say 60 for the payday one. And then what do you got? What do you got this thing on for for a spread? What's your net spread? What are you thinking your net spread is going to be? I know you can play with it at a buyer's meeting, but. Yeah. So the taxes on it are roughly, I would say probably 350 bucks right around there. I think really it was closer cheap. to 390. Let's use even numbers just to make it easy. Uh, uh, or we could say 400. Uh, so $400 we're marketing at 2750. Uh, our plan is to add back in the taxes uh, so oh, wow. we're looking at 3150. Um, we just put it on the market, so uh, cross some fingers that happens. But if we get 3150, yep, uh, minus the 23, uh, what is that 850? Yeah, rent per month times 60 months, 60 times 850. We're looking at 51,000 just on the spreads. Nice, that's really okay. nice. So our numbers are actually gonna be a lot higher here. Let's see, okay, so we got that. Um, the back end's got to be huge. So let's go over the back end. Back end is going to be 40, it's forty-two nine is the back end without the principal paydown. Without the principal paydown, yeah. So the principal paydown, principal paydown alone for the five years is ninety thousand. And then back end that I added on top of the price, I call that the back end, I guess. Uh, forty-two nine. So uh, what is that? One thirty-two nine. Yeah, but then minus the 60, so 72.9. 72.9, right. All right, so what's 72.9, 51, and 60? You're higher than you thought, right? Or no? Yeah. It, yeah, it is. And don't I forget told the first you month's rent. It's closer to 200. Don't forget the first month's rent. I mean, I went conservative, right? It was, it's probably going to be closer to 200. So, yeah, 186, that's without collecting any extra fees. Um, maybe that extra 300 bucks a month for the maintenance guy. Um, That'll get you another, what, 36? I mean, you're talking almost another, yeah, it's 200,000 almost if I collect that extra 300 a month. That, okay, 200 grand. I, good. So I wasn't out, of, I was speaking at a RIA uh, in New York last night, and I said we had a student and a coach that did 200 grand on a, on a finance. And they looked at me like I had 17 heads and a piece of asparagus going right out of my nose. They, they don't, like, it, people don't understand, the viewers to understand this. Um, it's important. The, these owner financing deals, mainly because the principal pay down is right. are ridiculous. A hundred and something grand on the back end is, is just crazy. Yeah. And, and you, you're also kind of, uh, in a way, I don't want to say recession proof, but it is right. I mean, you you can kind of go through the flow of the market with, with this, you know, and have the terms that you want. Um, you're getting good cash up front. I mean, monthly principal pay down of, you know, Eight hundred dollars. I mean, what more can you ask for on on a on a, uh, a deal like this? I and having it. it for five years. I mean, uh, and that's another thing. When I was discussing the terms, uh, you know how we're, we're doing longer terms now, right, Chris? Yeah. In our in our scripts, we throw out seven, eight, ten years in our, is uh, is our common language now, right? And hey, if it sticks at five, we're st we still win, you know. Exactly. But they feel like they won, you know. Yeah. So. Start at high, end up in the middle. That's exactly winning. what you did with this one. I remember that's what you did to the cell, and he thought he was he was yeah. good with five. And I did it all in person. So when I when I made the trip out there, first I, I wanted to make sure that they were uh, they fully understood 
the terms, right? The terms, how it works, what we do, uh, who we sell to. I want them to really ask me all the questions before I go out there because it was almost three hours away. I wasn't going to waste my time, right. you know? Uh, so they fully understood. The only thing we didn't have basically uh, in stone was the terms, right? The, the length. And uh, I knew the purchase price was going to be good because they just threw it out there. I did my homework before. Um, and I, I felt it was a great deal. It was a great buy. I didn't really have to negotiate much on that end. Um, it was just more of negotiating my principal pay down and my term. So yeah. when I went out there, that's what I did. I built rapport. I made them feel comfortable with me. And then I started the conversation uh, with how long they could go and just kind of uh, talk it out there in person. And it, I, I felt like it was the right time. Of course, you go off the feeling, right? You go off of how you feel with the, the rapport that you've built with them and, and uh, you know, your relationship with them so at that point. So um, it felt great. I mean, I threw out that seven to 10 years. They said, I don't think we can go that long. Then I said, you know, how long would you be willing to go? You know, just put it back on them. You know, don't make them throw, awesome. don't, don't, you don't throw out another number, right? Cause you're going to, you might be wrong and you don't want to come down too low. And uh, they said, I think we can do five years. And I was like, you know, I think, I think we could make that work. Let me go back and make sure, let me check with my partner and make sure that's going to work. So I didn't want to make it like a definitive answer. Like yep. I wanted them to really feel like they were getting a deal, right? That, that, that term was a great term for them, you know, and that's what I did. So I got home, typed up an offer email, uh, called them the next day and said, Hey, we ran our numbers. Uh, we think we can make it work for five years, uh, $1,500 a month principal pay down, but we'll pay you 23 to cover the rest of the costs uh, to keep up the, the property. Uh, so I love it. They're all in on it. Uh, I have, I actually got a little bit longer time frame on the marketing. Uh, normally we go, we go for 90, right? Uh, I got 120 on this one and I just blamed it on the, 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 the time of the year with the holidays to say, Hey, you know what? December is basically a dead month. I mean, yeah. I'm not really counting that. We got to extend it and give me another 30 days on top of that. So you got so, the end of March? So I, yeah, I got the end until the end of March to market. All right, so you said, you said some cool things I want the viewers to hear, Mike, because here we are. I don't know when this is going to air, but, but presumably beginning of 2020, right? Yep. So your whole conversation, your mindset, and your confidence with the sellers, it's important for the viewers to know if and when they decide to become an associate. Some, some will. I don't yep. know where they are in their life cycle of their development with us. But if they are, they get to have you or us or someone on the freaking phone with them doing these deals with them. You just got a deal done with, by going back for price reduction for one of your students that we did a deal structure with in Ohio. Right. So, I mean, it's so important for these guys to know that. And uh, there's something else you said that I wanted to, to draw out here too, for them to understand. But anyway, you got Mike in your back pocket. Uh, Mike's got us in his back pocket. It's how we do all the deals. And that's why they're so successful. Uh, yeah, there's, no other, there's no other program, Chris, out there like yours. I mean, like, like what we're doing here, we're helping people, we're in the we're in the trenches ourselves, so um, we're not just teaching it and going about our day. We we're doing it ourselves too. Right after we get off of our coaching calls with all the associates that we're, we're helping, and uh, we're doing it ourselves. So uh, we're growing as we're helping you grow, and it's it's a it's a great thing. It's awesome. Yeah, that's cool. So it's it is a wicked smart, <laughs> cool community. There's no question. It is. Um, Mike, I know we did it in the last uh, call, uh, last deal structure Sunday, but. Um, I'd like, I'd like every viewer technically to be at the business scaling event coming up in April and the, in the QLS event, the QLS live event in September. What one, one thought, one sentence, one reason they should be there. Talk to the, talk to the viewers who have not been to our event yet, or they've been to one and they, they, they don't know if they should come back. Well, I mean, from every experience that I've had, I mean, um, I mean, there's so much knowledge that you're going to be picking up in just that short time frame. Um, it's invaluable. I mean, uh, I mean, the, the conversations that we have uh, during the actual uh, event, and also, I always bring this up, even in the hallways, right? When you're just talking to somebody right next to you, or 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 meeting new people and, and networking. I mean, that, that part is, is, is so huge, you know, and it's so big for your growth, your personal growth and for business. I mean, it, it's amazing. And uh, you guys got to get out there because uh, I mean, there's no other event like this, right? I mean, you're going to learn so much. Uh, and I mean, for the cost of what it is, I mean, it, it's great. I mean, you yeah. got to be there. 
And we've sold out every year, guys. If you're, if you're a viewer and you have not gone through our QLS video program, the home study course, you get the damn ticket for QLS for free. And then you got to buy the business scaling one, but everybody does. Uh, Mike, yeah. I appreciate you being on again, buddy. Congrats. Uh, it's awesome having you as a coach too. And these guys could have access to you potentially as a coach. Um, and so thanks for being on, bud. Thank you guys. And thank you, Chris. Uh, and happy holidays.